right guys we are back from Boston back from Beantown uh, had a good time now it's time to get back to do some serious work it's time to get out here on the water you see what's greeting me out there the Sun is gorgeous this morning it is a beautiful day it's about 60 degrees I got an incoming tide uh, so we've had a little cool weather um, so I'm gonna start on one of my trout spots to see if the trout bite has got going yet. I got some bull minnows today. I might go out to the jetties and fish a little bit. Uh, Paul's not with me today. He's down at his brother's in Florida. So let's see what we can get into, guys. I'm feeling, I'm feeling nautical today. I'm really feeling nautical. Right after a few casts there, I got a baby trout. And I mean a baby trout. A little, my first trout back after my trip. Not gonna fuss. Even though he was little, I'm not gonna fuss. Happy to have him, happy to see him. Maybe we can get some trout going here. Be nice. I think I'm gonna have to switch to my other float rig. This one is so light. You got that little weight there. Usually it's so shallow up there I can't fish my heavier one. But I'm gonna try the heavier one. Cause that was way up there where I caught it. go that's more like it there it is the Georgia state fish 13 inch trout <laughs> the Georgia limits 14 inches so it seems like most of the year when you come out here you catch all these 13 inch fish yeah I'm glad to say that they're starting to get out here we'll have a period of time here in the fall where these fish get on the flats real good. And that's usually when it, everybody, I mean, you can catch them during that time of year. The current is really, really weird right now. It's not like it normally flows here. Cause I guess cause the water's up so high Another one. Another little guy. I'll have to get out my fish grips. These guys are. Slimy. There he is. Pretty. Right. Let's see what happens this time. Usually, if it goes down like that just a little bit, it's probably something little. See? It ate everything off but the head. That's how those little fish will do. A trout will eat the whole thing, but sometimes they'll hit it and they won't get it. So if you leave it out there, you still got your whole shrimp. So usually I'll wait. If I get a little bite like that, I'll wait a little bit and see if it's maybe a trout. But when they really get going, you can keep going right back in the same little spot and they'll get it. See, I don't think that was a trout. It might have been. I'll wait and see. That's a trout. Oh, he got off. 
Wait, no he didn't, no he didn't, no he didn't. He's swimming at me. Nope, no he's not. Man, he got off, guys. Woo. Exciting. <laughs> oh. I know one thing. I'm glad to be back on the water instead of just looking at the water like I was up there in Boston. Yeah, they're pretty aggressive today. Not big. That's okay, because I ain't big. I'm a little guy. They got plenty of energy because this water's starting to cool down a little bit. They like it when that water cools down after the summer. This water gets hot, they get kind of sluggish. Well, guys, I can't help hang on to nothing. If all you do is watch the fishing videos, I've been in Boston for six days. Me and my wife went on a vacation. I tried to talk her into letting me get a fishing charter. They got all them striped bass and big bluefish up there. You wouldn't fall for it though. You better carry your change purse with you when you go up to Boston, buddy. They charge for everything up there. They want to charge you for a bag if you get something at a store, you know, stuff like that. Now that's the first time I've thrown my float up there and it's gone left. It's been going right. And that's the way the current will change. I mean, it's flowing over you know, these oysters, there's a bunch of oyster beds and stuff up there. And the higher up the water gets, it changes the way that it flows. The current's really all going that way. But where it's, where it's been carrying me is, is through that, you know, that direction. That's where I caught my fish. I'm going to let it keep floating a little bit, though. See, now look how this current is changing, guys. It's swinging the back end of the boat this way. Like just in that little time when I turn this video on, it's changed completely the way it's flowing. That'll change the difference of where these fish are sitting. That's what I'm going to do for a second. I'm going to change back to this other float. Let's see if that'll help me with my hookup ratio. See, this was the same thing. It's a float that, that rises up and down. Got a sinker and then a leader and a hook. It's just like the other one, it's just lighter, smaller. And it's on a uh, spinning reel instead of a bait caster, which is not. I only use it if I'm fishing kind of close up or if they just have to have this lighter rig because it's easier to control the line with a float rig if you got a bait caster. But I'm catching these fish pretty close, so. Look at, look at how we're swinging out. Now that may change where I want to sit right here. I may want to move over there. Oh. I'd say that worked. <laughs> that worked. Wait. I guess I'll sit right here. I'm catching them. This is something a little better. There you go. Uh, yeah. Touch better. Long and lean. Well, at least that's the longest fish of the day. They ain't heavy. They're skinny right now. They're skinny like me. 
<laughs> I think the trout are more kind of on this side over here. Horrible. Well, you did mess up, Rusty. You made a mistake. But you know what? Fish make mistakes all the time. You'll you'll get over it. This one meant business. Not bad for today. Another decent little trout. guys got this nice little black drum out here on the jetties on a shrimp all right guys this is my last spot if i don't catch anything here i'm quitting i know you shouldn't quit I, you know my daddy raised a quitter he sure did <laughs> He said, if you don't quit, I'm going to give you a whooping. When he said that, quitting worked out pretty good for you. So uh, I quit when it's time to quit. I'll tell you right now. Apparently it ain't time. have many uh it's not a bad one either i don't have a lot of shrimp left anyhow but it hadn't been a bad day i rode around saw some good looking fish Nice little mangrove. too bad of a day i'm happy i caught some trout that's more than i've caught in a while so uh, hopefully they'll start picking up we'll really start getting on some fish thanks for watching guys